welcome to my Two Worlds 2 walkthrough. This is the very beginning of the game, um, after you watch the uh, intro title. And it takes us right into the character creation uh, once you start the new game. I'll just show you the settings that I chose really quick. Uh, you can toggle graphics and physics settings, as well as the interface and all that other stuff. Um, what I've decided to do, uh, I'm on 1920 by 12. Um, I turned on anti-aliasing, uh, 16 uh, samples, but then I also turned on, uh, I put everything to maximum, except, uh, well, yeah, the depth of field. I don't, I really like seeing uh, sharpness even in the distance, so that's why I put that up. Uh, anisotropic filtering, um, uh, 16, and I put the draw distances to max, so it should look pretty good. And let's start a new character. I'll show you a couple of the um, settings, but then what I'll do, I'll, I won't make you go through the whole character creation with me. But you see, it's the typical thing you'd find in a role-playing game. You can, you can change the, uh, the person's height, you can change his torso length, you know, all, all that good stuff. Uh, eye color, <laughs> uh, facial grit, you can turn him into a wrinkled mess. Uh, oh, that's okay. So eye size. It's almost all the things that you can do to someone's face. You can even change his cheekbone depth. Sure. So what I'll do, I'll create my character, and then I'll pop right back in to where we are now. Okay, I've created my character, and this is he. And let's move it. Uh, we're going to start the game, and it should throw us into the introduction. I'll include the entire introduction here and I'll just kind of uh, let it go on and I'll step in if um, you need to know anything. This is the main character's sister, by the way, or my sister. Once again, your brother defies me and attempts escape. He's talking about me. Has he no love for you? Why does he deny you the life force sustaining your fragile body? And there's me to the right. I will take it from him, Karen. Well, the character animations look pretty good so far. Much better than the first one. Such a delicate vessel for such a violent force. Once more you managed to uphold this frail prison. But soon enough her body will run cold and ash and cinder will be all that remains of you and your empire. Your flame flickers in the wind, Azeroth. Well, they picked a good font, too. They could have sped up that dialogue a little bit. I think that had to drag on for uh, two minutes. <laughs> Watch your step. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> Welcome home. Try and escape again, and the next place we'll put you will be far less forgiving than the dungeon. It's a different world. You'd be wise to remember that. <laughs> the voice acting is a little, uh, like, false bravado. But... I think we already know the voice acting is a joke in here, but it should still be a fun game. Let's see. There, I see orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Not impressed. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're here to help. Now, let's go. 
Okay, this is our first chance we get to control our character. So uh, if there's a way I can save, yes, there is a way. So the first thing I'll do is I'll save right here in this empty slot, which I guess I can't. Huh, okay. Well, that was fun. So we're in the prologue right now, and I think I can only save one um, one uh, set of progress each time when I'm in the prologue. Okay, uh, it feels a lot like um, Oblivion's controls and Fallout's controls, so that's not too bad. It's a little clunky, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. And of course, we start in a dungeon, so we can't really see the... Uh, the true power of the, uh, the graphics uh, engine yet. Hmm. So this is part of the storyline too. Um, it looks like the orcs are helping me to escape, but <laughs> maybe not my it. sister. We came here for this? Yes. I pray that our desperation hasn't clapped. What's this all about? There's no time. Everything will be explained once we reach Al Sorna. Now, go with Darfa. Darfa. I'm not leaving without my sister. Not without Kyra. Kira is not the objective. You are. Okay. So we're not going to rescue her. To risk losing either of you, coming with us is the only hope. This is suicide. Okay. You'll never, never reach. This far, yes. We? Now get Yes, we will. It. If you reach the exit point before us, take it. Very well. Good. All right. So um, apparently, good. So we've got some dead bodies to loot already, and to loot them on the PC, it's just Better space bar. Uh, I don't know what an aura is yet, but we'll f Oh, a war base lord. Okay, and more auras and more weapons. So that's good. And now it looks like, uh, um, what's her name wants us to follow her. So let's follow her. Um, I know it's dark in this dungeon, but we'll we have to get, we'll to get past ground. it pretty fast. Hold on. Who was that back there? We don't have time for this. <laughs> if you must know... Rogdor is the last general of the Orc army. But they were wiped out at the Battle of Osroth. No uh, Orc survived. Let's see if I can put Sadly, my hand through her. Not many of us did. How did you survive? Rogdor was inside <laughs> the castle walls. On a mission to sabotage the main gate. He was captured. Oh, I see. Tortured for days. All while our people were slaughtered by Gandahar. Uh -huh. They let him live. Yes. They did things to him that you could never imagine. Oh, I see. Just tell me who's responsible for this. Who is this prophet? She leads what remains of Gorgamar. The How is that possible? Look, a great deal of planning went into this. And I'm not putting our lives in jeopardy so we can discuss this like a committee. Okay, Princess Leia. Alright, come on, let's move. And... Oh, okay, jump. And <laughs> space to jump. Okay. And if any of these controls aren't mapped like Oblivion and Fallout, I'll probably map them myself because you can re-configure uh, all of them. The second floor should be deserted. Okay. How do you know all this? Many gave their lives for the information we needed to save yours. Okay. And she's going to pick the lock. And let's follow her. Hmm. And I need to pause here really quick. Okay, there we go. And let's keep moving. And it looks like we're going into interesting chamber. Good light rendering. This isn't right. There should be a door here. She likes making that the gesture. The door I see is the one we came in. We can't afford to find another route. We have to get on the other side of this wall. Okay, there must be a switch. If there is. I'll find it. All right. I'll guard the door. Let's do that. I'm trying to find the switch. Where is it? Hey, what's this? Ancient cults and orders. Good. Hey. So there's plenty of things to get out of my way. There's plenty of things to read in this uh, game, and that should remind you uh, unabashedly, like Oblivion. Uh, 
Okay, well, it looks like I should go upstairs then. Oh, it's a map of Antalor, which is the world that we are in. And I've got a small healing potion now. Good. And teachings of Terrayel. And there's the switch. That wasn't too hard. Uh, while we're at it, yeah, there is more loot. Architect's notebook. So I guess I could be an architect, huh? Uh, actually, that is true. We can become an architect and build our own buildings in this game. Which is kind of cool. Okay, I got everything there is. So, where is she? Uh, by the way, if you noticed, I also have motion blur on. You know, that's something... We need to make our way uh, through the throne room ahead. That's something that uh, Fallout could have used as motion blur. Right behind you. Just keep your head down. Okay. Um, when idle, press and hold the right mouse button to sneak. Okay, that's how we sneak. Don't wait my return. Understood, Master. Oh, and there's well, the Master. I... Something happened! Okay, the he's frantic. They... They're all dead. Okay. They're all oh, dead! I can't get through Their this. Their bodies have been found in the dungeons, and... and... He's gone. What? You worthless fool! Find him. Find him now. Or fall on your sword. Huh. Yes, sir. As you command. We can't That's trust an interesting him to sound effect. It sounds like Sorrow. a saw. See to it that I don't know what that's all about. Of. He will not leave this castle. Be assured of that. I have matters to attend to. Oh, it must be that magical sword. And sort of. He is not alone. They could have cut that whole sequence down wish, to about master. like 30 seconds. Okay, so he knows how to teleport. And I'm sure we learn how to teleport too. So that's the sword he's going to use to fight me, I guess, huh? Okay. Uh... Hello, uh, two worlds too. Uh, oh, there we are. And we come into Who this the hell room. How was he talking to? Sordahan led Gandahar's army against the orcs. Okay, Sordahan is one of Gandahar's minions. I take it you have a plan. The Emperor has a teleport in the throne room. The others will meet us there. There's that gesture. What happened to avoiding introductions? Never said the plan was perfect. Suppose it's the thought that okay. counts. We need to get moving. moving. Okay, yeah, I agree. Let's get moving. And, but I do have some books I can pick up. Oh, Architects of Antalor. And, uh, Attributes of Armor. Oh, well, yeah, we always have time to pick up books. Oh, it's a mirror. Nicely rendered, okay. And this is probably a good place to stop this first video. So we're trying to escape this uh, castle, and I'm following um, uh, Darfa, and we'll just pick up right here in the next one.